So hyperdocs, what are hyperdocs? They're basically Google Docs or almost any of the Google tools that are out there that are created as a, not just links um, out to resources, but as an instructional sequence, if you will, to let the learners know what they actually need to be doing with those resources. So it's providing a frame and an instructional steps through links out to content and what students are supposed to then go ahead and do. The folks here at HyperDocs have put together um, in this template space a series of design templates that are already available and ready for you to download, or we can um, find those that have already been populated. And like with all Google products, um, when the permissions are made available, you can file, make a copy, rename it, and then edit it. So this template helps learners know that they're going to engage with some resources, they're going to explore some multimedia, they move into the explanation, elaborate, and evaluate. Um, here's an example of one that I pulled together working with folks around the idea of blended learning, and I wanted them to know that the structure was that they would start by engaging. We'd all have an anchor experience, ask them to apply it, and then go ahead and share. So I can search for anything of, of the content topic I'm, I'm focused on. So doing an energy project with students. And I want to see if there's um, a hyperdoc out there that a teacher might have made that could be of interest to me. So again, docs, hyperdocs can be docs or slides. And I'm going to go to this potential and kinetic energy one because I thought it was interesting. I'm going to find here in that hyperdoc by linking on that title. And you'll see that this person who put together um, this sequence of instructional steps has done it in slides instead of docs, but the concept is the same. There's an instructional sequence of what both content and what students are supposed to go ahead and do when they come to this lesson plan. So that's how HyperDocs works. Want to know more? Consider joining me and my colleagues for our webinar on how to use HyperDocs and choice boards for remote and hybrid learning on November 17th. Hope to see you there.